In this video, we are going to discuss how to embed a Google form into your Canva website. We've made a ton of Canva videos over the past few years, and we've received a bunch of Google form embedding questions lately. We made this video about embedding Google forms on your Canva website a couple months ago, and everyone was asking, can you still do this? And yes, as of April 2024, you can do this. I'm going to show you how. I will note, I'm in the United States of America, and if you are in a different location, you might want to comment below if it's not working for you, so that way we can see if there's any patterns of certain people in certain places not being able to do this. Let's jump right into the first step of creating a new Google form. These are free, as you likely already know if you're watching this video, and you can add a lot of options to your Google form. So here I'll put a title, description. You can make it mandatory for them to input an email. You don't have to add questions of all different types, whether it's multiple choice or check boxes or short answers. There is no need to change any default settings. Although just a note here, if you haven't yet told Google Forms to send you an email when someone fills out the form, you might want to change that setting so you get an email alert when someone does otherwise people may be filling out your form and you may be totally missing it which of course we don't want to do all right so our form is finished so we're going to click send hit the link button so that you can get the link for people to access this form and you can even shorten this url if you want to use that for other purposes copy this link and let's head over to our canva website now as you probably already know if you're on this video canva website editing is a lot like canva social media post editing we love canva think it's a fantastic tool it's growing every single day and that's why we make so many videos about it and if you're not using a scheduler tool to make your posts work for you and be able to batch a week or even a month's worth of posts highly 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 recommend you check out a platform like later.com which is what we use i'll link a 14-day free trial below if you haven't tried it yet we're all about making technology work for us being more efficient for us and making it easy for you to understand so that you can go out in the world and spread that hope healing and light online that we know you want to spread all right here we are back in canva on our canva website navigate over to the left hand side and find the apps button. Once you click on apps, you can type embed in the search box and then simply paste that link that we got from our Google form in the space that says paste web link here. Ironically, Google forms right now as of April 2024 is not listed, but you can just paste that link totally fine. But type form is even though they're not integrated as well anymore. So Canva needs to catch up a little bit, but this will help you out with the Google form, at least in the US it should. Click add to design. It will appear on your workspace and you can adjust the height and the width and even make it smaller or larger. There's not a ton of stylizing options when you use Google Forms. You should be thinking about making sure it's big enough and easily read, but small enough that the user doesn't have to scroll, 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 scroll more than you want them to. It is nice when the form can be on screen on one screen without scrolling if possible, but you do what you got to do. Click publish website and we just have a free version to demo this. So although I have multiple paid Canva websites, Websites. click continue and then click publish and then of course go on and check out your website at the URL link note that if you are logged into your Google account and you're looking at your website you're gonna see your email address popping up in that just as like an automatic thing but a user is not gonna see your email address they will have to input their own or if they're already logged in they might see their own so test it out make sure it works for you and then when you go back to your form you can actually see if the responses went through in your test and then of course you can delete those tests when you're happy with it. So let me know if it works for you. This was nothing fancy here. Literally default settings, Google Chrome, making it happen. Again, if you can still not do this, please comment below your location so we can see if there's any kind of pattern going on. And know that if you need a future assistance with any additional Canva issues that might pop up, actually any social media issues, website issues, email, digital communications overall, we do have a digital communications trading hub membership. You can jump in and out of that however you'd like to. Just jump in for a month, ask your questions and get out. That's fine. There's a lot in there as far as downloadables, courses, webinars, video training walkthroughs of other questions people have already asked. But we have digital communications guides available in there to answer your questions. We prioritize the questions people ask us in that hub. And so this is a super small fraction of a cost of what you'd pay someone for a consulting call if you think you're going to need it or if you already need it, jump on in at least for a month or the annual membership and we would be glad to assist you. But for now, let us know if this helped or let us know if you're still having issues. My name's Sammy. We're Digivangelism. We help those who are spreading hope, healing, and light online. Max their impact. Subscribe for future Canva help and I will see you in the next video.